What's up? What's poppin', fellas? And welcome back to another episode of D Ray Fishing, y'all. And fellas, thank y'all for clicking on this video. And not just that, fellas, I went on I went on YouTube to check my YouTube status, and I seen 98% of my views coming from the people who is not prescribed. Also, the 2% coming from the people who are prescribed. So, if y'all don't mind, please go hit that like and the subscribe button. I promise you, it is not gonna bite. Not just that, uh, we growing, and as we grow, we learning. We're also having fun on this channel, so please go ahead and hit it. But anyways, fellas, look at this. I found this hidden pine right here. A beautiful hidden pine. It also have, it's still, I think it's still connected, but it also got them little grasses that's higher that's splitting the other sides as well i think the grass is in the way but i'm assuming it was connected but anyway not just that it's all it's off the man highway as well too and uh like i said it was a hidden pine i didn't even know it was here uh just so happened just to find it just typing in the address looking on google map seeing it right here i don't know if it got any fishes in it so i bought my spinning rod with me today and uh Put on a little net rig and see can uh see can we catch something and see if we do what's in it. So uh, please stay tuned. All right, fella, we're gonna go with some uh Z main net rigs. Uh, <clears throat> I might just tear it a little bit to make it just you know just a, a little small profile. I might just pop this. Like I say, uh. I ain't even know if it was a pond. Don't even know if it got fish. I don't see no movements, no nothing. So we're gonna find out. So I'm just gonna pop this if I can. Uh, Z-Man baits, pretty tough. See, this is what I like about Z-Man baits. See, fella, just look how long they stretch. You can move, I mean, you can use them more than 10 times. See, look, I'm trying to pop it and it don't wanna pop. That's how good it is. The only thing is sometimes, wow, y'all heard that? The only, the only bad thing about them is just when you go to push them up on your hook, you know, like they turbo crawl, it be sliding down a lot. That's the only thing I don't like. But we popped it in half, made it a little small profile. Hopefully, we could catch something if they have something in here. Not just that, fellas. Another thing, uh... Oh no, gotta come down some. Come on, fellas, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, let's see. Okay, it's a little bit better. All right, yeah. But anything, I mean, anyway, fellas, not just that. Oh, uh, it's not, I don't see no private prime sign. So I'm assuming we're gonna be good if it was probably fine. It probably had a sign up here, but you know, I walk around on that and I also and see no private pond sign. So hopefully it'll be good to go. And if so, if it is a private pond, I ain't trying to get in trouble. First cast and I'm stuck on grass, but all right, there we go. Like I said, I don't see no signs or nothing saying private pine. If it was, probably had a sign up because I'm not trying to get in trouble. If I can't get no permission to fish a private pine or a pine, I, I don't I don't fish it. Cause I ain't trying to get in trouble over that. Pay a fine, a big fine for doing something like this. Oh. It do got bass. Look, a little baby bass following it. It do got bass up in here. Oh, man. He about like... Oh, I might catch him. Oh, let me see. Oh, my drag too tight. Come on. All right, that's good. Where he went? Oh, man. Too busy playing my drag. I ain't even see him. No, 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 
Is that right there? No, oh, that's not here. Come on. Alright. So that's a good sign. Got a little baby bass farther, farther in. Let's see if we can catch one. Let's see. Oh man. Pretty shadow right there. Oh, got him. Yes. <laughs> yes, he ate it too. Look at that. Smaller fella. Pretty too. First one. Okay. What if fish cold? Sorry about that little fella. I ain't wanna jack you up. Beautiful fish. Beautiful little bass. Nah, you gotta jump. Look at that. What? Well, that's a good sign. So they do have bass in here. Now do we have any big ones? We don't know. Not just that fella. We're gonna have to get this bass a little gentle toss because it's very shallow right here and there's also a lot of grass. So I'm gonna have to toss him. Thanks, buddy. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. So now that we know it got bass in here, let's see, can we target some more? Get a cast out there. Toss over there. See. All right, fellas, we're going we're gonna to make it wheelless. Get a couple of fall casts out. Not just that. The, I mean, uh, the disability in this water is like a good foot and a half to two foot right here in front of me. Hey fellas, we're gonna make it wheelless right here. We're gonna do this, come through like that, turn it around, then push it up some, come down like that, push this up, and Well, that don't look right, but. Not the best look, but it will do. See how that tail flopping? But not just that, fellas. Uh, the disability in this water is, is like a foot and a half, what I'm saying. I can see my bait pretty good. And this area bit of a foot and a half or more right here, so. All right, fellas, we out there. Let's see, can we catch us something? Let it sink, still sinking. Oh, uh-uh, no, oh, you're good side. Oh, come on, no. <laughs> yes, come on, come on, come on. Yes, let's go. 
Nick Rig getting the job done, fellas. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Nice size. No, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Calm down, calm down, fellas. Oh, this fish is pretty cool, too. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Nice size. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Probably about like a 12, 12 to 10, 10, 11 inch. Beautiful. Caught them outside the grass line. And uh, about to reel it in. All, all right, fellas. I'm going to have to talk to y'all on the record for the next 30 seconds or so. Uh, as you could tell, my audio went out again. Not just that. It happened in my last two videos. Like I say, uh, I don't know the cause of it. I never figured it out yet. Uh, all it's doing is audio hopping on, then hopping off, then hop right back on. Uh, I've been looking it up. Still haven't found nothing. Uh, searching on YouTube. Don't know the cause of it. Not just that. Y'all gonna see a little buffling and a little pauses as well. That's what, that's what it also been doing as well. But after I go to get my neck red back wheelies, so what I decided to do is take a, another cast out there, 10, 10 foot in front of grass, and just work it back slow. Because what I did notice, both of my last two bites come from, from me dead sticking it, and me about the soon as I'm about to pull my neck red from out the water, that's when I get hit. And I ain't know if them fish were just roaming outside that grass line and just am ambushing bait or just ambushing baits and then go back out another 10, 10 foot, 15 foot. But what I did notice uh, when I bring my net rig in, all I was doing just popping it. Soon I get, as soon as I get my string on the grass line, what I do, I just pop it and just let it fall, pop it, let it fall, pop it, let it fall on that grass line and then that's how I realized my last two bites so did that work it back and sure enough caught another one doing the same thing again and uh that's that's something you might want to pay attention to uh how they eating it because you know sometimes they want it different ways and stuff like that as well so that was what I was doing and that's how I caught that little fella from how I caught my last two fishes as well and before before I release them all, I was just saying uh beautiful fish, nice color on them. Uh he a dink, but hey, it don't matter. A bite is a bite, we're gonna take it. Like I said, I ain't know it had fishes in this pond or not. Probably I mean uh a hidden pond happened to just to find it. So we got him back in the water. And uh we uh, went on from that fellas. But uh sorry <clears throat> about this. Thank y'all and please stay tuned. What we gonna do? We'll get a cast around that tree, a little toss around that tree. See if we got anything. This look real, real froggy. They try to throw it in this little pocket where it looks clear at. I'll rig it back this way and see can we catch something. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh, we got it. <laughs> oh, we got it. Stay on top, stay on top. This is a baby, but stay on top. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Not a little thing, but hey. Oh, he barely hooked too. Barely hooked. Look at that. Fella. Hey, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Back into the death.
All right. Back wheelies again. We're going to get us a toss. We'll get us a toss back out there. With a grass line at. <clears throat> All right, fellas, let's get us a toss over here in this corner. In the grass right here, there's a lot of grass I just tossed in. A lot of grass. Oh, we got it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's a baby, but hey, we're gonna take him. <clears throat> Another little thing, but we're gonna take him. Yes, sir. All oh, beautiful fishes. Another beautiful bass. Future 10 pound on one day. But this time, you know what I did notice, fellas? I'm catching these fishes around all these grasses. But that time, I actually throw the net rig inside the grass. And another thing what I noticed about this, all these grasses that's in front of us, and also on that bank side over there, that's fresh grass. And by that grass being fresh, that grass holds oxygen. And what the fish will do, since that grass fresh and it holds oxygen, they'll push up in it and just roam around. So that's that's another thing y'all might want to consider just paying attention to. Anytime y'all see fresh grass, that's also could be a good sign as well. Yes, sir. All little things, but we having fun, fellas. And nothing like having fun fishing and catching at the same time. Hopefully we can catch something bigger than what we caught. I, I think what we caught that 12, I don't know, maybe it was a 10 inch to 11 inch. Mm. But we're gonna toss back in this grass again. Cause that's some fresh grass and we're gonna see can we get us another bite. Got a wheelers. Oh, now I've caught up on the grass. Come on, get out, please, come on. All right, here we go. Pretty shadow right here. All right, fellas, that's it. I want to thank y'all for watching. Not just that, I also like to share with y'all how I caught them four little baby bass. Hey, it was all things, but I had fun. That's all that matter. And uh, not just that, I caught uh, all of them on the outside of the grass line. And uh, I caught one inside the grass. And uh, by that grass being so fresh, I don't know if some of y'all know this, but by the grass being so fresh, that grass holds oxygen. Anytime y'all see fresh grass, get y'all a couple of caches. Because what them bats do is push up inside that grass as well. Not just that. Uh, and I, I ain't see no dead grass or nothing like that. Uh, and I would have doing just trolling outside the grass as well. Like, at first I thought I was going to catch some little bluegills or some brooms first. So that's why I put the net rig in. Uh. But had a good time and uh wasn't so bad after all. But anyway, another thing, fella, look. I also got this trail that go back there as well. A little trail that go back there as well. And uh I did also look on the map. It is another pine. A pine way bigger than that that just run. So what I'm gonna do is uh maybe another day, a couple of days, uh I might go stick my kayak up in there, uh my giant boat and then uh hopefully See what's in there. Catch something bigger than what we caught from out here. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and also leave a positive comment. Y'all stay tuned.